gonna come down, you just gotta get over it. There you go, coming down. Yeah, there's two wheels. So this is what we're trying to kind of avoid some of the guys are going around. It's just a very deep washout area. Comes. Slow, just real slow. Oh. Oh. It was overheating and actually we thought he had a leak like he hit his coolant. Good. There you go. Is his back end gonna hit something now with that little bit he did? Or... Oh, go for it. So I think there's things that we all need to try at least once. And taking your vehicle, plowing through a mud puddle, I think it's probably one of those things. However, for me, the cleanup was more than enough deterrent to keep me from doing it again. This is Daniel's Grand Cherokee, and Daniel's brand new to off-roading. He wanted to try this mud, but he was soon to find out how this would be affecting him throughout the rest of the day. My name's Brad, and you're watching Prodigal Overland. If you're new to this channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. And as always, guys, I hope you enjoy this video as we tackle Trail 11 out at Windrock Park. You're good, nice and slow. A little bit driver for me. Oh, never mind. Straight's fine. And a little bit driver. Yep, right there. And then just through. Just straight through, you're good. Just nice and slow. You got, your back wheel's gonna come up. There you go. Yep, that was fine. It's okay, you're good. Perfect, just hold that line straight down, it's fine. Perfect, straight through and you're good. Back end gonna hit something now with that little bit he did, or? Let's get there. Perfect, yep. That's all right, then just follow that way, yep. All the way through. Nice and slow, you're gonna start coming down. Good job. Can you see your front end? How am I looking? Looking at him, your buddy, I, I told Brian, get him. You look good from my angle. Slow, that's your rear, yeah. So not too bad, just scraping the rocks with the diff. 
So this is what we're trying to kind of avoid. Some of the guys are going around. It's just a very deep washout area. Um, it's not really technical. It's just you get in there and when you're coming out, you kind of drag your back end. So some of the guys are trying to bypass that over here. Trail 11 has a couple main obstacles. One of them being this very deep washout. Um, I'd been through this before, went through it before these guys, and actually went through the washout section and, and did kind of drag my, my whole hitch area and the back bumper. Now on the Gladiator, it's steel, and there's rock rails back there, so I was fine going through that, but the guys in the Grand Cherokees decided that they were gonna take a bypass and, and just completely go around that section. Go driver, stay driver, it's okay to be driver. Yep, that's good. That's fine, you're okay, just keep rolling. You're gonna start coming up on your driver once you hit right here. It's gonna start evening out. No, stay driver. Good. Yep, right there. A little bit more passenger, yep, right there. Come back driver. Yeah, right there. What's that? No, you're gonna start, you're coming up here and you're gonna even out. Keep going, you're gonna come down, you just I gotta get over it. There you go, coming down. Yeah, there's two wheels. Slow, slow, you're down, you're slow. You're gonna de-bead your tire. Come, dr come drive right there. And just slow through. Yeah, nice, there you go. You can't often feel, like when you lift one tire, sometimes you can't feel it. But when you're on two, you can feel it. This is John. John's got, a, I think, a 2021 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. Uh, he you're saw good. Daniel get a little tippy, decided he was going to do this bypass, but try to take it a little bit wider. So, okay. You're going to be more tippy than I think you think you are. You want to start? Yep. Good. Good. There you go. Yep. Nice and slow. Leave your tires there and try from there. What are you in? Are you in? No, go ahead. It looked like it was going to go. Yep. Good. So the guys in the Ram TRX are going to be up here next. Um, they saw the Grand Cherokees go around and they were a little bit nervous about how narrow the bypass was. Um, so they were asking about coming through the main section I went through. I told them there was just no way they were going to get through this yeah, section without down. dragging their back end. But if the TRX had a steel bumper yeah, like the Gladiator, the that they'd probably be okay. So we tried to take Brian in kind of a diagonal way to minimize how much pressure was on his bumper that Brian thought was steel, well, driver, yep. um, but would probably be reevaluating that here in a it's second. Nice and slow. Here it comes, slow, slow. Come a little driver and get on that rock. Come driver towards me. See if we can get you up sooner. Here it comes. You're going to start coming up. No yoga mat needed. And then a little bit passenger. Yep, right there. And just now, now it's going to be mostly your back end that's the concern on the other side. A little bit. Slow, slow, slow. All right, you're going to start coming up. 
right? Coming up, coming up. Now it's your back end. It, yeah, turn that way a little bit. You're gonna, you're dragging. I mean, it's it's gonna happen. Here it comes. Slow, just real slow. Oh. oh. Slow, slow, it's real slow. Keep it slow, real slow. No, you're not. You're good. Slow. Coming up. Yeah. You told me it was steel, man. <laughs> you said the back bumpers were steel. They're not steel? Yeah, the back bumpers. <laughs> Let me help him in here. Oh my gosh. You know what it is, that mud's drying out. After Rick saw the damage to Brian's bumper, he elected to try the bypass. Watch your, okay. You're good. All the squeaking you guys are hearing is actually from the mud puddles these guys went through earlier. By this time, the mud was drying out and getting where it didn't belong. Sorry, that's your way. You're gonna start leveling out. You look great, man. Come, come, passenger. Yep, yeah? passenger. Slow, because now your back end's got to climb. Real slow. Is he good on that side? Yeah. A little bit. Right. Perfect, man. You're perfect. And now you could. You could come driver now if you wanted. I can't see anything. Yeah, you're driver. Yeah, follow it around. Just slow, but you're you're through it. Got, we're on trail 11 and we're at kind of a, a rock climbing section some pretty big boulders so we think we kind of spied a line and uh yeah see, if we, see what we can do this section of trail 11 is for sure the hardest section um, it's a decent rock garden which again with the rain and all that over time gets more and more eroded um, what we did is actually got everybody out of the vehicles walked through the garden looked at some different lines and then um, after we thought we found a good line, I went up first to see how it would shake out.
looking right here. Is this, this you're you're right lined there? up straight to, to climb straight That's up. Good. Yep. All right. But you'll be okay. So now you're right on it. There you go. So you're gonna want to go. If you want to climb these rocks, we're gonna go there. Does that look good? Yeah, you're lined up straight. So just get me over there. I mean, I don't want to run you over. Yeah. yeah. So if we can get my back tires, I guess maybe I'll go straight a little bit and see about those back tires hitting that same ramp. Is it here? Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm driver. You're about to dip on the passenger front tire. But it, I'm good to keep going when I'm going. You're good, but you're but that's gonna dip in a second. The passenger, passenger, a passenger. You need to stay up on that. You want you want him to No, you're going driver, Brad. You need to go passenger. Why do I want to go passenger? No, no, he said he wants to come this way. Yeah. Alright, so it's I'm gonna saying. drop like this. That's what I was saying. You're okay. that's gonna come down. You're right. right on you're about right on the edge. Golden. After I went, Daniel decided that he would go next. Daniel has the air suspension here. He has air links installed, which allow the air suspension bags to go up just a little bit higher. Also, I think he's running 32 or 33 inch tires here.
after Daniel got a little hung up here, what we ended up doing was just stacking some rocks to try to see if we can get him up and over. Daniel's good and turtled here. Um, we had yet to pull winch line, so this was a great opportunity to show the guys just basically how to set up a single line pull. John had some recovery gear he had never used. Daniel had a winch he had never used, so we just had Daniel shut things off and kind of walk through a proper recovery. No, so once, I mean, you're coming up too high because that's your lever arm, that's friction. If it's rained a lot and the soil's really yuck, so come low around the tree. <laughs> it's on video there's a bug right in my throat <laughs> so you're good there so daniel said he has a sh shackle daniel we need you man you got a shackle of some sort the other thing to do is to put like the dampening i got if you got something to throw but but use your winch to get you going here. And everybody's back, right? Yep. So push your button and see if it'll pull you up off your seat. Yep. And help it a little, a little help. There you go. Perfect. Okay, stop. A lot of crunchy, crunchy going there. Got Brad on rock duty here. Being a real team player. As always, expert rock stacker. Tetris champion. Tetris yes. champion. Okay, when you should start to come up again. Let the, with the winch. There you go. Okay, stop, because I want to see, you got another one in front here now. Yep, go ahead, you can help. Tighten up your winch line. Tighten the winch, let the winch pull you a little bit up and then you end your end, yep, good. Keep coming, nice and slow. Passenger, yep, you're gonna start coming down this thing. So nice and slow, coming down, slow, real slow. Ease it down, you're gonna be on your rail in a second. There's your rail. Yep, tighten up. And then stay on the embankment like that way as you come across. Let the winch, yep, slow. Now your back end's gonna have to do the same thing. It might actually pivot you around that. Just come back driver for me, yep, and see if you'll pivot around that. Is his back end got enough room to pivot? All right. Perfect. 
You're gonna slip off this rock. Take it slow, because you're probably gonna slip that way a little bit. It might hang, it might not. Winch, winch. Use your winch, your winch will pull you. There you go. Coming down, yep. And then aim towards me, yep. And you can try driving your winch. I would win get some tension on, on your, you're worried about the tree? You got room on the tree. So pull up your tension on your line, yep. Go ahead and winch and drive, yep. Keep turning towards me, awesome. A little bit, now drive, can you drive forward a foot? Wait. Good. All right, little update on trail 11. So this is a trail we did before and we got everybody through with lines and stuff like that. Um, I got the gladiator up without issue. Um, Daniel pulled line. And after seeing two vehicles do it, um, our other Grand Cherokee is not comfortable continuing, nor is the one that's up comfortable going back down. So against my maybe better judgment, we're actually turning around. So, um, well, we're gonna keep finish the trail, Daniel and I, and Rick, Brian, and um, John are gonna actually turn around and head back the way we came, which was mostly fine, except for that ditch section, that little teeter-totter. So we're gonna meet there. Never done this before. Made sure everybody was like aware of the risks. Historically speaking, when I'm not there, more damage happens than when I am. Um, but I will never ever make someone, it's, I'm not paying payments on the vehicle. It's not my vehicle. So I will never tell someone they have to do something. So this is a decision they made. So Dana and I are going to finish the trail and meet these guys, um, where they started. Fingers crossed. So there's actually two rock garden sections in this trail. The second one is nothing like the first. Um, but that's another reason I didn't push hard for everybody to get through the first one because I knew there was more to come. So, um, Daniel and I, like I said, are pressing through here. This is his dash cam. So a big thanks to Daniel for getting this, um, footage and yeah, this is how we made it. Okay, I was just gonna let you get up there a little bit. I think I'm gonna try to get over this. Good. 
just keep an eye on me. That'd be your, your back uh, passenger. If it is get a little more, if it'll come. So come back, um, turn your wheel the other way towards second passenger. Keep going the other way. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right there. See if that'll go. Rock mode and uh, forward, four low. I mean, you can try because it's a delayed throttle, so it's going to be hard. We, we'll try it in rock mode and see if it'll go. Um, but brake, get your gas going a little bit, and then we're going to let off just till you bounce. Now, you're going to bounce, and you got rails, but let me just, you got nothing in your middle? Uh, yeah, I don't have anything underneath my uh, axle, front axles. There's nothing in front of my front axles. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. Well, the body armor's there for a reason. So if I hit those, that's some. So break just till you get like up a little bit here, okay? You tell me, just yell stop, and I'll stop. So you see the big rock, like see this tree? Yeah. Before that tree, but you got it's clear in front of you. It's just you're you're getting chalked a little bit, so you can't crawl it. So break. Go it now. Break the gas. <laughs> Drive. Don't kill it, but you might be able to, you're, you're clear of this talk, so just see if it'll go from there. Like Drive. The Drive. Can we turn around now? <laughs> hey, let's go ahead and turn around. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking. No, no. Yes. Park. Park. Brake. I'm running hot. I'm gonna turn it off. So at this point, Daniel's truck had been like the coolant levels, the temp, engine temp was all the way to H. He was getting coolant temp warnings. Um, so we did kind of shut him off a little bit. I decided at that point we were just going to tow him out. So he's actually in neutral here. Engine running, but in neutral um, for me to just pull him out. I'm mostly going to try to keep this just moving forward here. And drive and turn my tires. Yep. Okay, you can help. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 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 Go.
All right, so we have coolant issues. So Daniel was overheating and actually we thought he had a leak, like he hit his coolant, but actually we think when he went through the mud, he choked up his radiator and his coolant is actually boiling in there. If you guys can see that, but I can see that it's boiling in there. So we're staying back because there's gotta be a lot of pressure there, but it actually started overflowing down here. So we're probably gonna just tow him out, let the engine cool down and go from there. So I ended up getting Daniel back to where we actually started trail 11, just let him there, pop the hood, let him cool off. And then I headed back in to find the guys. Um, again, Daniel's having these issues because his radiator had been completely caked in mud from earlier in that day. All right, hold on. So while Daniel and I were having our little adventure, here's some footage from Rick. Um, I had told the guys when they got back through that section to just hook a line to John's vehicle and try to let him down easy right, through on. this off camber situation. Um, it was the best thing I could think of without me being there to just make sure um, the guys all stayed safe and that's exactly what they did. It's okay, it looks good. to go excellent perfect no damage. textbook zero damage. textbook <laughs> all right so we are heading back out to the start of 11 we've got everybody behind us and daniel cooling off out front so fingers crossed we'll get out of here in one piece we've got one small climb to do um, but other than that we should be good So it's gonna, yeah, keep going. You're just gonna have to, like you said, keep moving or you're gonna slip. Good, good, perfect, yep. So you cleared it, you can, you're good. Yep, that looks good too. I'd come a little driver with your wheels, yep, perfect. Yep. Is he, is he hung up in the back? It slipped. No, it's not. So, I'm happy to just give you a little help too if you want it. Yeah, yeah that rock that we got you around, your back end didn't clear it. You're gonna be climbing here. Oh, 
And this is a situation when I was talking about the front rear of the brake lock really doesn't yeah, yeah, yeah. have a... Like, that's that's kind of a limitation there, too. Yeah, just put a couple rocks under my tire, bro. Yeah? A couple yeah. rocks? Yeah. All right. So I could totally tell that Rick was not interested in getting any help from my truck. Um, he actually told me later that there was no way at all he was going to let his truck be towed out of this situation. Yeah, it'll go from there. Yep. So here's Brian and his TRX. Line, you After see seeing Rick go through this go with, though, with his and how much scraping he did, Brian wasn't comfortable with Rick's line and decided to, to try a different up. way. So now if you get rolling, keep rolling. You're gonna clear in the front. So see if it'll come. Yep, keep going, keep steady, 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 steady. Now let, he's gotta come up over first. Yep. And then now back passenger. Yep, good. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Hard passenger. Good job. What I hate about the TRX. We definitely need um, an aftermarket buffer. Aftermarket buffer. Yeah. Steel buffer. And, and remind me again, is it is it a steel or is it a plastic bumper that you <laughs> stock on that second? I thought it was steel, but no, it's plastic. Steel. It is plastic. Which you would think for a truck that's like... It's infused with steel. Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little sprinkle. Sprinkle, yeah. sprinkle. Yeah. sprinkle it in the paint coating. Yeah. 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 No, it was like so metallic. You thought the metallic. <laughs> That's going to do it for us today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you're brand new to this channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. And we will see you guys again real soon.